what is going on guys this is 42 sports here and today i am talking about the penn state nittany lions go on the road to face the uh the ohio state buckeyes as we all know the crazy game or the late uh block field goal to pause to take the lead and pot and win the game afterwards as well when the lions sacked jt barrett to end the game man was this a crazy one uh, for sure last year watching it was amazing it was fun to watch especially when you got on the bill king show and listened to his angry ohio state fans it was hilarious it was uh, honestly pretty funny to me um i actually i actually have a video so i'll put the link in the, in the description below uh sorry for moist crap um uh, pin a lot of people were really surprised about Penn State this year, they finished or last year, they finished eight and one in the conference. They went 11-3 overall and won the uh, Big Ten Conference uh, West, and they also beat Wisconsin, who's also surprised a lot of people. They went 11-3, 7-2 overall, but Penn State won, uh, and but the, then they lost to uh, USC in the Rose Bowl game. But that was a crazy game as well. Um, a lot of people did not think that Penn State was going to be good uh, this year. I didn't think that they were going to be good this year. But when they beat Ohio State and win the Big Ten Championship, but it was crazy that Ohio State was, uh, they won. They went to the college football playoffs, which they shouldn't have. Um, it was crazy. So, everybody's back basically for last year. Um, we got quarterback for Ohio State. We have JT Barrett that's back. Uh, running back, I believe. Mike Weber, who is going to be back for the Ohio State. Uh, mostly, a lot of other people on the Ohio State's defense, that's the key for them, is going to be back. So that's going to be uh, a key for Ohio State. Also, for Penn State, they have Saquon Barkley, who's back. They also have Tracy uh, McSorley, who's back also, uh, for quarterback and running back. Uh, DeAndre um, Tom 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 Tompkins, I'm sorry. It's a weird last name. Uh, he's back for wide receiver. Juwan Johnson's also back. Uh, Irvin Charles is also back as well. So it's going to be another great game. It's going to be a tough defensive game as well. Um, last year was a low-scoring game. So look for this year to be another low-scoring game, especially in the Ohio State Buckeyes Stadium. So it's going to be a crazy, intense matchup. So this is going to be a highly anticipated game also because, as we all know, the last year, Ohio State had the lead. They were they were up 12 to zero at one point of the time, and then uh, slowly that Penn State came back. It was 12 to seven, and then Ohio State scored. It was uh, 21 to uh, seven, and then um, Penn State scored, which is four, uh, 24, 21 to um, 14, and then uh, Penn State had a field goal, and so we make it 21 to 17, and then Ohio State tried to. Have, take advantage of the tie or to make the game so that if Penn State score they tied up tied it up but as we all know Penn State uh, blocked the field goal and scored the touchdown to clutch it and also JT Barrett got uh, getting sacked by the Penn State defense so what we want to do now is we want to go over the stats from last year's and compare it to this year JT Barrett last year went 28 for 43 245 yards 5.7 yards average, one touchdown, and zero interceptions. For Penn State, we have Tracy McSorley. He went eight uh, completions, 23 attempts, 154 yards, 6.7 yards average, one touchdown, and zero interceptions. Curtis Samuel, who is with the Carolina Panthers, who uh, he had two carries, 71 yards, 35.5 yards average, uh, one touchdown. And Mike Weaver, who is a starting court, uh, running back, my bad, now he is going to be a good. He's going to be a key factor for the Ohio State Buckeyes. He had 21 carries, 71 yards, and zero touchdowns with 3.4 yards average. So he's going to be a key uh, piece for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Uh, for Penn State, who's or uh, Saquon Barkley is going to be a key uh, key factor for the Penn State line and Nittany Lions. Uh, he went 12 carries, 99 yards, 8.3 yards average, and the only touchdown they had was with Tracy McSorley. Uh, for Ohio State, uh, we have uh, Marcus Ball, who had the only touchdown for uh, Ohio State. He had five receptions, 55 yards, and one touchdown with 11.0 yards per catch. Uh, Mike Gizowski, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Oh, wait, he didn't have the touchdown. Chris Goodwin had a touchdown. I believe he's gone. He had two receptions, 39 yards, and one touchdown. 
it was really a low scoring game but the defense was basically helped them a lot Ohio State forced two fumbles Penn State forced two fumbles or no well, they only lost oh, Penn State didn't lose any fumbles uh, but Penn, uh, no they did they have one Ohio State had uh, they didn't lose anything but they got a fumble uh, the leading tacklers, we have Malik Hooker for Ohio State. He had seven tackles. Uh, Brennan Bell, he had uh, 18 tackles. Wow, that's a lot. Crazy. Um, I do believe, is he back with? I do not believe so. He's. Um, this is from OurLast.com. They're like the future, or they, they feature the future depth charts for every uh, FBS uh, school. So it's pretty cool. I'll put that the link in the description below that you guys can look at yourself. Um, I believe that Ohio State may have an edge this year, not only because it's in uh, Ohio State and it's tough to play in the Ohio State Stadium, so they have a little edge and advantage, uh, plus the rest as well. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to be a great matchup. I think Penn State is going to have a chance to take the lead and win again, but I still feel like Ohio State may take the win this year, but do not underestimate Penn State because they can also uh, take back, take, they can go back to back against Ohio State. But it's going to be tough because uh, it's at Ohio State and uh, it's a bigger stadium. Uh, wait, no, 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 Penn State's bigger, I think. Uh, but that doesn't matter. It's a home field advantage. Um, so I don't know. It's going to be a low scoring game. It's probably going to be in the round. The 25-28 range of the score. Um, it's going to be low. It's going to be a defensive game. So, yeah, that's basically all we have for you guys today. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, and, yes, I'm 22 years old. So, if you guys wonder how old I am. <laughs> um, but, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm at 175 subscribers. Uh, this, this is awesome. Um, yeah, so, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. And, Six yards.